Hey guys, so today we are going to be unboxing Heather. So she is definitely like my favorite from Shadow High. Uh, I got her yesterday. There is like a doll hunt for her, so you can watch that if you want. Um, still looking for the reproduction monster huddles, but I found her finally when we were looking for them. So I picked her up uh, since they don't have the monster highs right now. But yeah, we're going to get started unboxing her so I can finally wash her hair and restyle her. So yeah, we had to go to a Walmart quite far away looking for Monster High. And we found Heather because I believe our Walmarts near us did not have Heather. I know for sure the big one didn't so it's likely the smaller one did not either as they didn't have it last time when my mother went for my Nicole so this Walmart had two Heathers so I tried to pick the one I thought would be the best Oh my god, why is this being so difficult to open? Cut all the tape. Okay. So that's all the tape, I think. So we got... Oh no, I... Why do I always forget? You can see it in my other video, too, that I, like, always forget. But the tape that's... Oh, I'm, like, literally cutting the box. The tape that's up here. I always forget about it. Get off. I just cut the plastic. And then we got the boxes. Our second outfit. So we got this like satisfaction thingy. And then we got our stand because they do not come with uh what do you call them? Hangers. They do not come with hangers this time. So this stand seems to be just like a clear, like silvery with glitter. And this one's a bit hard to put together. But yeah, that normally means that it's not going to fall apart super easy all the time on me. So honestly, would rather it be a little more difficult to put together than you know, being super easy and then constantly falling apart. So, I think I can literally just open these without even taking them off the back card. Uh, this one opens from the top. Oh my gosh. So annoying. Okay. So we're going to open up her second outfit here. I love these shoes so much. They are a complete new mold, I believe, for Rainbow High. Uh, this is the first time we're seeing, like, truly pointed shoes. So, I'm really excited about it. Because I think they give the foot a completely different look to them. There we go, it's focused. You can see that these ones are much more pointed than every other shoe we've gotten so far. So, yeah, they'll give, like, they give, like, such a different look to her feet. Like, honestly, it's so pretty. And then her second outfit, which of course has plenty of tabs for us to rage over. Starting with the ones I noticed when I was in the store, which are, in fact, like literally tabbed to her pants. Like, her pants are literally tabbed in. Thank god it's at the bottom, but still. Oh, no, they're also tabbed at the top. Because MGA does not know when to stop with these tabs. And, of course, her literal friggin', like, 
the most like delicate type of material top is tabbed down to the box where it will have gigor <laughs> gigantic, ginormous holes in it. I love an intelligent corporation. Okay, so this is her outfit. We have the pleather pants that are like snake skin. They have like a little uh, thing there. The little glued on gem thing. I don't know what you actually call those, but yeah. That goes over the fishnet one. Hopefully this actually fits her because some people have troubles with that not fitting. Her like a sheer top, fishnet top. I don't know what you call this, honestly. It's like that very transparent material and it has snake skin printed on it. It's like a mesh, I guess. Cute. I don't know why she has so much snake skin. Like, I feel like that's just a bit over the top. But then again, it's literally like rainbow high, shadow high. I feel like they literally live on being like over the top and <laughs> maybe a bit too much. I mean, have you seen like half the rainbow high glows? So we're just gonna snip her, snip her feet out. So we can move her legs. And then she has one around her waist here. And then it's just her head and her hair. So I'm gonna start like by slowly pulling out the pigtails. There's actually not really like any gel in them, but I don't know, I still might wash them. There is gel in her like uh, holy crap that was hard to rip out have like a lot of gel in them so and we get free elastics that are holding her coat to her arm which is always good because i always need more like factory rubber bands so honestly, I wish they would just like include a bag of them with every Rainbow High doll. <laughs> Which I know is like a bit much, but still. So here is Heather. Oh my god. Give me a second. Her head's like not moving. Okay, there we go. There's Heather. <laughs> That's her face at least. There's her shoes. We'll get a closer look in a minute after we snip out the last thing, which is the stupid comb, which, again, I don't care for. I don't know why they keep making combs. Just wasted plastic. And I literally can tell you it's wasted plastic because I've seen, I literally just saw yesterday when I was thrifting a crap ton of OMG combs and Rainbow High combs and stuff. And I see like Barbie combs all the time. Like I always see hairbrushes just like literally in there. So can you imagine how many get thrown out? Like it's probably like polluting our landfills so much. So let's take a look at Miss Heather. Let me just fix the camera. So here is Miss Heather with her weird, like, hair extension pieces. I don't know if I'm going to keep those in, to be honest. But here she is. She has her little things in her hair. She is not the more detailed version um, of the dress. Neither of them were. I did check. But, yeah. I guess we should probably check and see. If Miss Heather Grayson has any like major issues with movement, because sometimes they do. Let's 
start with removing the elastics, bending, and it looks like your hand's bending pretty all right. And then we'll do the other side. So this is bending fine. Her wrist is like bending fine. The shoulders move. This leg twists. This leg twists. The knees fully bend. So she is fully working. I always just make sure, including her head. So I always like to make sure that they are like fully working before I, you know, go because I've had them, like I've had hands like literally break. So yeah. Anyway, that has been my unboxing video of Heather. She is so pretty, I love her. She's literally my favorite Shadow High doll. Um, I like all of them pretty much, but Natasha's like probably my least favorite. Um, but she has grown on me more since I've seen series four because like series four to me, it just no, I don't like it. Mostly because they're using like alien heads and I find that almost all of them have their eyebrows printed wrong. Um, but yeah. I'll probably get like the cobalt one from series four and that'll be pretty much it. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing video of Heather and I'll see y'all later.